thank you for it all The good, bad, the ugly, great and small The times of victory and when I fall I'm so grateful that I'm still standing tall I thank you for my tears The pain helped me overcome my fears You've been good to me down throughout the years It's a miracle that I'm still standing here All that I am is because All that you brought me through And everything I survived It's all because of you
be seated. Many Christians have it in their mind that the Lord is with us only in the good times. Only in the times of His blessings upon us. But I've got news for the devil. Hallelujah. Don't misunderstand, wrongdoing is never right. And sin always has its payday, and it's not a good payday either. But Jesus won't leave you. I don't care what the situation is. Well, through it all.
Nikita the victory. Ninety-seven years is a beautiful innings. God has certainly blessed Lucille with a long life. And she lived that life with grace, her integrity. She has given her talent, her energy to the land we love, Jamaica. She has given us her family. She has given us work and friends and certainly in this community she has brought joy and peace so we give god thanks for lucille agatha for her life for her family her friends to know and to love what a joy it must be for parents for, for relatives and friends to have seen a parent live for such a long time and is able to die in peace. What a joy it is for us to come today. I know one of the challenges when persons live for so long, their peers would have died and friends would have died. And so it comes down to the work and the children to demonstrate the personality and who this person and what she stood for. So today as we come, we mourn with the family and we give God thanks and praise for the life of Lucy. Let us pray. O oh, holy and gracious God, it is a joyful occasion to come to a service of thanksgiving, knowing that the person who would have walked before you, living before you, worshiping you, embracing your light and your salvation. We thank you for Lucille and we pray for her family, for her relatives, her friends, her neighbors, well wishers, and those whom she worshiped with. As we come to this funeral service, warm our hearts with your presence. Cause us to see, even in death, our own understanding of eternal life with you. Bless us as we worship you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we invite you, please, to turn to your service sheet and note the tributes that are outlined. We have tributes from Mr. and Mrs. Mills. Tributes from Ms. Jacqueline Conanon, from Mrs. Garnica Forrester, and Jenny Booth, uh, both for remembrance and eulogy. And so we'll invite persons to come, please, and offer you tributes and eulogy. The service, for most part, will proceed unannounced, starting just now.
I am Hezekiah Mills, and this is, this is Joy Mills. This Priscilla and the Lord Thee. So we just have to just give thanks for what He has done for us. This moment, we want to see when they ring the golden bells, there's a land beyond the river that we call the sweet forever, and we only read sure by faith degree one by one we gave the portals there to dwell with the immortals when the ring the golden bells for you and me don't you hear the bells are ringing don't you hear
the Quran, my, oh my God, we all have a destiny that we shall fulfill. A destiny in that city, on a hill, we have a destiny and it's hot and empty. Wish for we know we were born for such a time as this. My aunt, may your soul rest in peace and life to virtual shine upon you. following her sister, Auntie Emily. 
Her first job was working in a factory sewing on buttons on shirts. And by a happy accident, and it was a pure accident, she met my dad. She and her friends were calling after somebody called Cherry, and my dad's nickname was Berry. And he turned around, saw mom, and a year later they were married. So that was that. Mummy had two children before she met my dad, Mervyn and Len. And with my dad, she had four more. Winston, I call him Winston, but when I found his birth certificate, his name was Livingston. But mum never corrected me. Pauline, Sid, and myself, the last one. And mum did a, a number of jobs. Apart from working in the factory, she was a childminder for a while. And those of you from London, England will remember Walls Ice Cream. She used to walk, work in the Walls Ice Cream factory. But the majority of her career was as a nursing assistant at West Middlesex Hospital in the west of London. Um, Mum was, let's say, she wasn't on one of those showing emotion. But as she was getting older, I can tell that a lot of things you know, she contemplates, but then she would sort of relax and just say, well, a cycle. She can't do nothing about it, so she just let it go, you know? So, in 1984, I think it was, I had just gone off to study and left home. Mom and Dad decided, yeah, they've had enough, they're coming back home. Yeah, they've had enough of the call and everything else, they're coming back home. So back in 1987, 88, Dad came back and built the house at number 64 South Sea Park. And then in 1989, Mum, myself and a friend came and we saw the house for the first time. Mum opened the door and the first thing she said was, what kind of dance hall this man built here for me for furnish? <laughs> because the house, any of you been in the house, the house is big. It's big. So we walked around, and mum said, all right, we know what's going on. So dad came back in 89, we came back, and they finally left to return home on the 14th of November, 1992. And I remember it so well because they took everything out of the house. The fridge, the freezer, the cooker, the settee, everything. And I know it so well because my birthday is the 16th of November and I remember it sitting on the floor and the house with nothing in the house. <laughs> Luckily, my brother did that we were up the road so I could get my food and dinner and everything. But that's what it was. And that was the time. Dad died in 2019, and up until that point, they've been together for over 63 years. So everybody knows relationships, ups and down, in and out. But they stayed together, no matter what, thick and thin. So that loyalty and that longevity is another character of my mother that I respect. When Dad passed, for a little while, mum wasn't sure what she wanted to do. She wanted to stay, she wanted to come back, but which ones, I don't know. But she eventually came over for two months last year. I brought her over. She enjoyed it so much. She traveled first class. She had the limousine waiting at the other end to pick her up. She enjoyed herself. And one thing I have to say, and give thanks for, for everyone on the live stream, I think, all of you who came to see my mom, she remembered it well, and she loved every moment of it. And I know I put you through the drama of taking pictures, but that album stayed on her bed up until about a month before she died, because she would flick through it. So again, I have to give thanks for that. So, thinking about mom, I have to think about her character and her life. Like daddy, they had three lifetimes. When they were young, in their 20s, born and grow in Jamaica, they left, Jam left Jamaica, came to England, stayed there until their 60s, and dad died age 87, and mum died 97. You know, so they had a good innings, and they managed to come back home to enjoy that last 
chapter of their lives. So that I was quite grateful for. Thinking of my mum's character, a few things come to mind. Larka said, if I've put on her gravestone, her strength won't be forgotten. And that is her emotional, mental and spiritual health. And what it was, my mum had six children and she outlived four of them. So you can imagine losing one child can be quite devastating. But losing four, some were babies, some were grown men. You know, and she still carried on. She still endured. She has the strength to carry on and not lose her way or take it out on anyone. So I had to respect that. Her spiritual strength. Mom sometimes used to hear her singing hymns when she got to bed. And I'm going, Mom, you all right? Yes, yes, me good. Me all right. Me just a sing me little hymn. I'll go, okay. I said to her, do you want me to bring you any books when I'm coming? Do you want to read? She goes, no, I have my Bible. Just bring me a word search every now and again. Thank you very much. And her mental strength. Everyone's going through hard times, whatever you know that may be. But she still managed to carry on and still do that with grace. You wouldn't hear mommy in any mix-up, mix-up or any passa passa as everyone would say. Mom is just there. Mom was good. Mom was also to some, and I can look back on pictures now. So mom was a, a good-looking woman. She wasn't too bad. I don't know if I've got any of those good looks, but she, she was all right. Mom was lovely. She was lovely. So the final two things I want to say is number one, mom and dad's return home started with a hurricane. Those of you around remember Hurricane Gilbert? That's when dad was building the house. And then their story and their journey ends with Hurricane Beryl. So please, don't name no children or no sons Gilbert or Beryl because it has a connotation for me. Thank you very much. Final thing to say, is a thank you again to everyone who not only supported mom and helped her out whenever she needed it, but also I've been here just over a month and for a few weeks I was on my own and I've made new friends, people phoning in, checking if you're all right, Jane, and everything, and I'm going, I'm fine, I'm fine. And to the church and everybody else who helped me arrange today, I'd like to say thank you. And again, a final thank you to all the well wishes, the condolences, the support from people here and far afield abroad in America, Canada, um, the UK as well, and even a couple of friends in France. So finally, this is a celebration. The reason why I want people to be colorful, it wasn't me, mom said she wants people to be colorful and bright. And that's why you see all the colors here today. So again, thank you all for being here to come and celebrate the life of Lucille, Agatha, Booth, previously Baker. Thank you all. Okay. 
Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. <coughs> we brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing out. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. With faith in Jesus Christ, we receive the body of our sister Lucille for burial. Our sister was washed in the Holy Baptism. She was anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore with confidence pray to Almighty God to your life that he will raise her to perfection in the company of the saints. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of grace, God of glory, we remember before you your servant who said, we thank you for giving her to us, her family and our friends to know and to love as we travel our pilgrim's journey. In your boundless compassion, console us no more. Give us faith to see death the gates of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth, until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved the wretch.
pause today to remember before you your servant Yosef. You gave her to us, and now you have taken her. We pray that having opened to her the gates of larger life, you will receive her more and more into your joyful service. And Lord, we pray that all who have served in the past, that she and all those persons may share the eternal victory of Jesus Christ, O Lord, who lives and reigns with you on the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of the lesson. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Remain seated as we sing the song. Of the future. 
But in God, they are God of the future. I want them to find joy and peace. Now, we can have much. We can have wealth. And it is good to have what one can have. Enjoy what God has made. After all, He has given it all to us. He created everything. And then He gave it to us because He created us last. And said, have dominion. So that He wants, in spite of all that is around us, for us to find joy. Joy at home. Joy at the workplace. Joy in raising children. Joy in going out and coming in. Joy in being able to see the beauty around and enjoy it. To, ex to see how great God is and to fully embrace it. Joy beyond understanding. Joy in our hearts. And it's not just joy for the children because we want children to be joyful and happy. But joy for adults as well. Because uh, for adults, life can be really tough. Trial, as his son said, trial and crosses <laughs> in our way. For the adults, there are corners twist and turn. And sometimes, we, we, as we often say, one foot forward and two step backwards. We, we have that struggle. So in spite of everything, one wants to know that one finds joy. And not just joy, but peace. Peace. Not external peace alone, but internal peace. A peace that, as the Bible said, passes all human understanding. A peace that in spite of all that is happening, one can find comfort and say, it in me it is well. Amen. Peace. Amen. No need. I think one writer said, if you get up and you quarrel every day, you're saying prayers to the devil. Amen. It was Bob Marley said it. But one of those songwriters said it. Where there is war every day, it is suggesting lack of peace. And if within someone there is no peace, then the absence of peace then must be contention, strife. So it is this prayer that the parent is saying to God, Lord, Life, as we know it, is not long. It is three, four, and ten. Perhaps by reason of strength, and surely all of us will die as long as God will come. But as we are alive and go about our business, oh God, let my family, let my relatives, let my neighbors, let my children find joy and peace. Let them be happy. Even if they're not wealthy, let them be happy. If they are wealthy, let them be happy. Let them find a home of their own and be happy. Let them find a place of rest and be happy. You know, a few weeks ago, this storm came. And I have a mango tree at home. And, you know, I was standing on the outside looking at the mango tree because it was poor and I said, Lord Jesus, the mango season for sharp this year. Because I used to go home and sit under the tree and walk a few before I go inside the house every day. But then even as I was looking, I saw two birds remaking their nests. And I said it to myself, well, I don't know where they were during the storm, but here they are. Rebuilding two birds, and they were just chirping and singing. And I said, Even in the midst of a stressful time, storm, they were building their nests and flying around joy. And so, the God of hope, even in the midst of a hurricane, even in the midst of storm, 
can give us joy and peace. Yes, you will stop serving God. And yes, it may seem distressing if you have money in your pocket. But there can still be that confidence that it will be all right. Amen. And so the parent, every parent, I know, I believe, I know it, would want to know that their relatives, their friends, but especially their children, their families, would want to find joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Strength 
to meet the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and a certain hope and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. Yes, o Lord. So Lord, today the home is empty and the grave is full. But you are the resurrection unto eternal life. We look forward to the resurrection of Lucifer. And we pray that we ourselves, upon your coming, may be acceptable in your sight. And hear words, well done faithful servants, receive the place prepared for you. All of us who are here, Lord, enable all of us to one day be with you in eternity, enjoying your presence and the warmth of your nighting, and the glorious company of God, our Father. Hear your prayer, Lord, as we humble our hearts before you this day, in the hour of grief. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now, our all it is well with my soul.
the family you want to express thanks to all the persons who have come to support them in their grief as they walk through the valley of death. And after the commendation, is inviting persons to journey for eternity in the cemetery just over the churchyard here. Please stand for the commendation. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant who stay with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither science but life everlasting. Where sorrow and pain are no more, neither science but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of God, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us commend our sister Lucille to the mercy of God, our Maker and our Redeemer. Deliver your servant, O Sovereign God Christ, from all evil, and set her free from every bond that she may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitation, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, listen. Knowledge we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming, Receive her into the arms of mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints. In the paradise, may the angels lead you. At your coming, may the martyrs receive you, and bring you to that holy city, Jerusalem. In the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, and remain with you. Now and forever. Amen. As we recess, let us join in singing day by day and with each passing moment. Strength I find to meet my child here.
bodies. Our hearts here for is glad and our spirit rejoices. Our body shall also rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this, happy are the dead who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth says the spirit, they rest from their labors, for they take with them the record of their deeds. the resurrection and you are life eternal. Everyone, the Father gives to me will come to me. I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will give new life to our mortal bodies. Our heart eh? therefore is glad and our spirit rejoices. Our body shall also rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Ensure and certain hope of resurrection and eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We commend to Almighty God our sister and we commit our body to the ground. Earth to earth, ash to ash and dust to dust. And we beseech you in your infinite goodness and grace to give us your favor so that when your son shall come, both this and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Will any more reads be placed in the your side? If there is any other thought of the down inside. In that case, we'll invite the workmen to come for the closure of the ball. As we sing the hymns that are outlined didn't have someday I'll go with Jesus someday someday I'll go with Jesus someday someday To meet him, caught up to meet him. Who are we caught up to meet him? Caught up to meet him. Joy and happiness, 
This is mine. Tell the story of his glory. Start up your meeting in the <laughs> Someday, someday, I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday. Joy and happiness, this is mine. Tell the story of his glory. And I thought of to meet him in the air. Oh, we shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. Wow, I'm here. Sing your hallelujah. We shall have a grand time of in heaven, have a grand time. We shall have a grand time of in heaven. We shall have a grand time of in heaven, have a grand time. Walking with the angels, sing glory, hallelujah. We shall have a grand time of in heaven, have a grand time. I am on the dark. The rock is high and high. She who me, I'm under the rock. So tell my enemy, I'm under the rock. She who baptized me, I'm under the rock. I am under the rock. The rock is higher than high. She who baptized me. Come on, Tanya.
down beside my Jesus. Sit down and rest a little The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, one day your Son will come and receive all of us unto himself. We look forward to your coming. But even as we journey, we ask for journey in mercies as we travel the pilgrim path. Enable us to cause you to always be our light and our salvation. Let your Holy Spirit comfort us. We thank you for the workmen, for all who comes to give support to the family. And Lord, as we go now, go with us. Bless again this family and comfort them in their sorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May she and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. If you miss me.